Hi everyone, it's 9 a.m. ish and I just got up and changed. This is the outfit of the day and we're gonna get ready and we're gonna head to work. I take the bar to work which is the train system here and I go in person most day. I usually work from 9 to 5 but I've seen a wide range of work hours. I love my morning coffee for the vibes and I'm grateful that we have an in-house coffee shop. I usually get a matcha latte and then go and get some breakfast which is usually this delicious coconut milk chia pudding. First thing I do in the morning is to check Asana. We use Asana to track all of our work and I like that it's all in one place from sprint planning to quote review to company jokes. I check for stuff that is due today, task that I'm waiting on and plan my day from there. As a security engineer, our team works with many teams across the org to ensure Asana security posture. I spend most of my time coding features that are security related. Today I have a one-on-one -on -one with my friend Richard who works on a different team. We are doing it in the secret library which is my favorite part of the office. I have a recurring one-on-one -on -one with my manager, my mentor, and folks in other security team. I also make sure that I have one-on-ones with people in different teams to learn about different parts of Asana. What I like is that each one-on-one -on -one have different energy and sometimes it's super technical and we spend all of our time debugging. Sometimes we just talk about our hobbies, your goals, and what it's like to be an adult. I ate lunch with my coworkers and I was too excited about the dessert I forgot to film but the food here has been one of the highlights of my internship. The menu is different every day. My past couple internships have been remote and this is what I miss most about the office. Learning about what my coworkers are up to over the weekend and how their projects are going. answer some questions. A little bit about me, I am a third year computer engineering student at the University of Waterloo. My co-op right before this was Site Reliability Engineering Intern at Cisco Meraki. Um, I've also worked in research, I've worked for the Canadian government, startups, also VC. Why am I interested in security? From working in DevOps to security, I've always wanted to feel a sense of responsibility for the work that I'm doing. And so I think that if I'm making a product more secure or I've reduced the risk of a data leak, I've at least done something good. Um, I also really like to think about how hacker thinks. Um, I think it's a bit of an art and a science at the same time. So what does a security engineer do? So something I didn't know before the job is that a security engineer can look like a wide range of things. You can be on the red team, which is offense, or you can be on the blue team, which is defense, um, physical pen testing, or social engineering is also part of security. At Asana, what we do is triage bugs that comes from external um, researchers and mitigate them or deal with them. We also work with teams uh, across the organization to help them threat models and reduce the security risk on those features. We also built frameworks that makes it easier to write secure code, which is what I'm working on this term. What does Asana do to make the workplace more equitable and diverse? This is important to me, and this is one of the reasons I chose Asana. Um, we have ERG's group. It is really important for me to feel psychologically safe at work and to feel like I am heard while doing impactful work. And Asana has been exactly that for me. What was the recruitment process like? I get these questions a lot, so let's go through it. So I applied online without a referral, completed a code signal, after which I was invited to a phone interview. 
it was pretty standard. Um, the recruiter gave me a document at that time of what to expect, so it was really helpful. After that, I was invited again to an on-site, which was a few hours long. One of the exercise was I was given a, a requirement documents. I had about a few minutes to ask the interviewer um, any questions I have about the document, and then I was left alone to code for an hour. Um, and then the interview came back, we talked about solutions, the things that I didn't have a chance to complete, um, and was it. And this is the first time that I had this interview format. It was kind of a game changer for me because within the hour, I was allowed to show a lot of technical depth without having to explain or talk while coding, which is, I know, a challenge for a lot of people. Um, after that round on the on-site, um, right after I had a chance to talk with another engineer, and I wasn't evaluated on this round at all, it was just like a chance for me to ask any questions that I have about what it's like to work at Asana. Tips for people who want to get into security. I'm not gonna lie, it's not easy. The barrier to entry is really high, and this is something the industry is grappling with. Um, I recommend checking out Pico and CTF. Um, every year, try Happy Me Happy advent of calendar that starts on December 1st. That's really beginner friendly as well. If you are a minority in tech, I would recommend checking out Women in Cybersecurity and Privacy or Day of Security and the Diana Initiative. Um, if you're into podcasts, I highly recommend Darknet Diaries as well. How have my experience been this term? I'm not gonna lie, I'm not sure that I want to live in San Francisco long term, but I know for a fact that I've grown a lot over the past few months. The work that I get to do at Asana is really high autonomy. I get to drive my project end to end and roll it out to every engineer in the org. Um, and then we also do a ton of fun things like fall festival or the pub parade during Halloween. Um, but outside of work, by virtue of being in a very tech-centric city, I've been also able to meet a lot of cool people that I've learned a lot from. So I also work in Kubernetes open source, which means I don't get paid for doing it. It's a volunteer role. Um, I work on the release team since 1.22. We are working to release 1.26. Um, and one thing that I care about is to create accessible digital infrastructure. Um, through this role, I've been able to meet folks from different companies, but we all work towards the same goal, which is rare and wholesome. And I've been able to attend a few conferences through this experience. So if you've never considered open source as a avenue of growth in your career, I highly recommend it. I go straight to bouldering after work but I didn't today I got home pretty tired and I saw that my friend's startup uh, moved to public beta so doing what any good friend would do I tried to hack them and inject a few scripts to see if it works and kind of sleuth around their APIs tonight we are doing a house dinner with all of my roommates and one of our downstairs neighbor I wish I could say that we do this often, but we don't. Um, all, one of us is always out at a random tech or VC or crypto event, but we usually hang out in the living room and co-work together quite a lot. One of the things we talked about is what are things that we want to start, continue and stop doing. And I thought it was a really good prompt. It was a really wholesome night and we ended up the night dancing to some 2000s music. Um, we made plans to go to a hip hop class next week. That's the end of my day. Thank you for following along. You can find me on Twitter at GraceNNG and don't forget to subscribe to 16 Weeks.